Are, Are you ready, ready for an uncruise? We took a small ship expedition cruise through the Panama Canal to Costa Rica. These are the adventures we had on the Pacific Coast. Welcome, Welcome to, to Panama. Panama! The Panama Costa Rica uncruise trip is split up into basically two parts. In Panama, it's all about water and snorkeling and seeing the sea life. In Costa Rica, it's all about getting out on the land and seeing the wildlife and seeing the jungle and the cloud forest. Our trip started in Panama City where we took a tour of the historic San Lorenzo Fort and the Agua Clara Lock. We then set sail for our own voyage through the Panama Canal. Well, this is very exciting because we are on our way now to enter the Panama Canal. It's sunny, it's going to be spectacular and I can't wait to go through a country on our way to Costa Rica. We're heading from the Caribbean to the Pacific Ocean. The crew has now come on board. Uh, the, we have a pilot actually take us through the Panama Canal and there's about 10 other guys that come on and must help us get through all of the locks. So while going through the locks, they have closed off the whole bow of the ship. So we're watching from the top today, probably for safety reasons. They can't have anyone up either on the bridge or at the bow. Okay, we are in it now. The water has risen in our log. The gates are closed. We're full on going through the Panama Canal. Got a big ship beside us too. It really is a spectacular experience. It feels like a once in a lifetime to be on the Panama Canal and actually going through it. I really feel privileged that I'm able to do this and especially to do it on a small ship. You could really feel the locks going up and down and the movement of the water and then seeing the massive ships beside you, really wild. We're visiting the Embera tribe here and it's a festive celebration. They have everyone out dancing and welcoming us and what a great village visit. This is really a cool part of the trip. Look at it, everyone's dancing. I gotta get out there. The Embera people are an indigenous tribe living in the Darien jungle. They welcome visitors and are proud to share their culture and heritage. We took a dugout canoe through the mangrove forest to their village along the water, where we were welcomed with music, dancing, and a walk through their traditional village. Well, we had a great time at the Embera village here, and the people were so welcoming and friendly. It was really a great experience. We had several opportunities to snorkel on our uncruise, but the best day was at Granito del Toro. This little slice of paradise was surrounded by coral reef with plenty of marine life to keep us occupied. The days were a mix of guided adventure snorkels and independent snorkeling off the beach. And that was snorkeling in Panama. <laughs> How'd you like the day? Awesome, beautiful weather. Lots of things to see. Yeah. Time for a skip tour. Off we go. Our favorite days were spent exploring the coast in skiff boats. We searched for frigate birds, blue-footed boobies, pelicans, and toucans. It felt like a mini Galapagos Islands tour. Having skiffs allowed us to get into tight places and to get up close and personal with the wildlife. We went down rivers lined with mangrove forests that were teeming with bird life, and we even saw crocodiles. We have arrived in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is all about getting off the ship to go for hikes in search of wildlife. 
Local guides found the best spots and pointed out each species of animals and plants for us. That way. We could have searched for monkeys all day long. They are so cute. We are hiking along Isla Iguana. It's very secluded and we're looking for iguanas, hence the name. We're looking for iguanas. Another slice of paradise on Isla Iguana. Another day on the beach. All right, we have an afternoon here set up on the island. There's a great little picnic area. And we've got our lawn chairs. We can do some paddle boarding and kayaking and snorkeling. It's a great way to spend an afternoon and feel like you're really in the tropics. So it's not just an adventure, it's a beach holiday too. If you've ever wanted to try stand-up paddleboarding, this is the place to do it. The water is calm and warm, and there are guides on skiffs making sure everyone is safe at all times. Okay, we're having a great day at Granita de Oro. It's a little bit of gold in the middle of the sea, and we've been paddleboarding and snorkeling and kayaking. It's just paradise. See you later. We're paddling around Coiba Island. The main island of Koiba. Wow, beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of the karst formations in Thailand. We had the opportunity to kayak several times on our trip, and I highly recommend it as it is a great way to enjoy the water and take in the scenery. This is amazing. We've already seen a manta ray. The scenery is beautiful. We've got a gorgeous secluded beach that we are hanging out on. What do you think, Dave? I love it. <laughs> The days on an uncruise adventure are very well planned out. You have some skiff tours in the morning, you go out and do some paddle boarding, and you do some snorkeling. So there are a lot of things that'll keep you busy. You don't have to worry about being bored at all. The great thing about taking an uncruise is that you don't have to book your excursions. Everything is all inclusive. Your meals, your drinks, and activities. You would usually have to pay to go out and explore the islands, and this is just part of it. You're gonna get out and explore by kayaking or whatever way you wish each day. The choice is yours. You get to sign up on the boards and then have your own do-it-yourself adventure. Very beautiful private garden of a family that built a path through all of the jungle. So there's a lot of medicinal plants on display and there's birds and butterflies. It's a very tranquil setting. We went to two separate gardens to explore the local flora and fauna, take advantage of the beaches, do a little shopping, and enjoy a local cocktail. Being on an uncruise is unlike other cruise ships. We searched for wildlife in the middle of the sea. Everyone gathered on deck as dolphins stopped by to say hello. Here. And at night, we have presentations about the destinations we are visiting. It's a blend of adventure, exploration, relaxation, discovery, and history. We're visiting the spectacular San Lorenzo. It's one of the early forts built by the Spanish conquistadors in the 1500s. Cheers from Costa Rica. Well, it is a spectacular ending to our uncruise. Definitely, we made it all the way here to Costa Rica, starting off in Panama, and what an adventure.
I had fun. How about you, Dave? Yes, I did. This is the end of our Panama Costa Rica adventure with Uncruz. Cheers! <laughs> If you like travel videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you receive notifications each week.